it is Steve here. Um, a quick update for you today on my um, my kind of progress and my minimalist challenge. So some of you guys have asked how I've been getting on. Um, it's been uh, been a really really good six six seven weeks I think since I started this challenge. So yeah, it's been good. Busy but good. Quick shout out to everyone who's kind of subscribed and sent me messages and um, you know I've, I've chatted to and guys have added me on um, Google Plus and things like that. So nice nice to talk to you. All. So how are you doing out there? Hope you're alright. So very quickly today, the um, the reason for this this video and the um, the uh, slightly dramatic title maybe is that over the last kind of few few weeks where we started kind of clearing things out of the house and basically minimising possessions, it's also got us thinking about other areas of our life. One of them is is kind of financially as well. Obviously, a big thing, especially at the moment with the way you know the economy is and all this sort of stuff. Um, we made a big decision this weekend in that we're going to downsize from our current four bed house into a studio flat. So we've given notice on the house, it's all done, all signed, so in nine weeks time, I guess, August the 3rd, we're going to be leaving the house where we are now and moving into a flat which my wife actually already owns. So when we got together she lived in a studio flat which she owned and basically um, she came to live with me in, in the, the house I rented and we, we kept the studio flat empty and paid the mortgage on it for the last six months or so um, as kind of it as an investment but with the way we're thinking now and the way our mind is, mindset has kind of changed to possessions and money and really everything since we started this this kind of challenge is that it's pretty pointless paying all the money we're paying for this house especially as we've been minimalising and decluttering and half it's empty now um, and also on top of that paying for a flat which is sat there empty so there we go, big challenge, upshot is we're minimising even more than we thought we were going to. About eight and a half, nine weeks, August the third. It's four four rooms into one. Currently, just to give you a quick um, quick example of how much of a challenge that's going to be, there's only myself and my wife that live in this house, and we've got three spare bedrooms. One currently set up as a gym. One's currently set up as a music room, which is where I'm sat now, and one is currently set up as a walk-in wardrobe kind of dressing room. So what we decided to do is the sell of our gym equipment. Um, we're not going to have room for that in the one bed, one bed flat or studio flat so that's all going to be going so that will be cleared out my music room has got to be downsized onto one desk that's all going to have room for for all of my recording equipment and my guitar guitar stuff is going to go down to one desk and my entire dressing room this is probably the hardest thing is going to have to go down to one chest of drawers each currently in the dressing room we've got um, wardrobe each, rails, clothes we've got a dressing table in there, things like that um, so that's going to have to go down to one chest of drawers each, um, which my wife is really looking forward to, as I'm sure you can imagine. But it's got to be done. So a little bit of a step backwards, maybe you'd say, but it's going to enable us to become completely debt-free with the money we're going to be saving and the, the lower cost of living. And it's also made us have to focus on the things that are kind of important and the things we really want to take with us. Um, it's an absolutely tiny flat. So going from a four-bed house to a small flat is a shock anyway, but this is, even for a studio, it's quite a tiny flat. We're only really going to have room for, like I said, a bed, two chests of drawers, one desk. That's all we're taking with us, that's it. One cup, one plate, one bowl, that kind of thing. It's really, really going to be small. And we don't know how long it's going to take to sell the flat even once we're in there. It, you know, it could sell within a month, two months. It could take six months to bring the flat. But once we're there, we're there. That's it. There we go. Once we're out of there, at the end of the sale, we're going to be in a much, much, much better off place. Kind of, I think financially and in our heads and everything as well which is kind of cool so I'm kind of looking forward to it, it's, in, it's exciting but it's going to be a lot of hard work a few things we, um, we've got are going into storage, we've got a really nice sofa downstairs and a nice TV and stuff that we don't really want to get rid of um, so they're going to go into storage for a while while we're in the flat because it physically isn't room to have those things in there but everything else that we can't fit in the flat apart from a few of my guitars and things which have to go into storage as well they're also going to be gone, completely gone um, finish the living room. So the living room has been minimalised up. That's or minimalised down, I should say. I'll quickly show you what that's what that looks like now, anyway. Which wasn't a hard thing. Took us maybe a weekend to do, and it's just a lot better, a lot better anyway. So the other thing really that I say about this challenge over the last kind of couple of months is how much it really has changed our mindset. I mean, if, if someone said to me right at the start of the year that. I'd be looking forward to and enjoying the challenge of moving from the big house we're in down to a studio for that. I wouldn't believe, you know, wouldn't believe them at all, so they're crazy. But we're kind of excited and it's 
it is a personal challenge for us really to get everything, you know, kind of that way. And it, you know, I'm not I'm not really just in any way, shape, or form. I'm not really very spiritual or anything like that. But it's kind of the whole thing. Really, the last few months has made us focus a little bit more on the important things in life. So much so, we've evaluated, been evaluating really everything in our lives. You know what we want to do with our lives, and in terms of our jobs and our free time, and you know just the things we kind of hold dear. And um, we're both a lot more focused, just from clearing out some stuff out of the house. Really, as soon as you start that, it just gets your mindset on that way. You start looking at other things. Do I need this in my life or this in my life? Um, I, I recommend to anyone. Obviously, everybody's different or whatever. Whatever gets you up in the morning and keeps you happy throughout the day and keeps you sane. Cool, you know, go for it. But for us, certainly, this has been. It's not just a, a challenge or experience. I mean, it's not a once a lifetime thing. It's now, it's our way of life that we're going towards, and it's been it's been fantastic so far. We really really enjoyed it, and um, I think we'll enjoy it going forward as well. So, I said, you know, shout out hi to everyone who's kind of subscribed and, and said hello. It's really cool to meet you. Um, there's a few blogs on um, on the net and a few other YouTube guys that are doing similar things, which I'm kind of chatting to, and just it's just nice to meet like-minded people. Um, I've done a bit of writing on what I'm doing as well, like a kind of diary as we're going along, so I don't always have loads and loads of time to do videos, so um, and I'm not the most photogenic as you can see. So um, I've put the name of my blog, the address, into the description here, so feel free to check that out, and um, I tend to update that quite, quite kind of regularly on how we're doing. Again, feel free to shout or challenge or you know comment or subscribe. And if anyone does any comments or anything you want to ask me, you know, feel free to. I'm going to try and update things a bit more regularly. Um, I'll show you the living room, what that looks like now, because that's been a small room in the house that's been completely done. Um, and then I'm going to, I'll am going give you a quick tour on what we've got to get done as well um, to show you where we are now and then where we're, where we're going to in the studio flat. But yeah, like I said, any questions, give us a shout. Take it easy. All right. Okay you guys, this is the living room as it looks now, as you can see, apart from a few cat toys we've got over here, the, the only things we have in the living room is the TV and the sofa, and that's it. That's all we've got in the living room. It's quite a big living room. This is about the size of the studio flat we're going to be moving to as well. I think it's a little bit, possibly a little bit longer, but it's about as wide. So I'll walk into the corner, I'll show you, uh, show you the rest of it. This is our view from there. That's me. And there we go. We used to have um bookcase in here. Another bookcase and another unit there. Table there. Another table over there. Another unit over there we had as well. So that's all completely gone. And this is actually a genuinely nice place to sit and relax now with just the, the sofa. And the TV, and that's it. So the, both of these will be going into storage when we move. So we haven't got enough room in the flat for for those really. Um, the cat's going to have to do some minimalising as well. I think I'll have a chat with him later on. I've got room for all of his toys. I think he's hiding under the sofa at the moment. He doesn't like the camera, he's like me. There we go. Just about to see our garden out there. So it'd be strange not having a garden, but that's uh, again one of the prices you pay, I guess. That's it, nice and clear and spacious. There you go, take it easy.